So in this video, we are going to learn how to send Facebook lead ad leads with ad campaign details to Google Sheet. Now suppose guys, if you are promoting your business using Facebook lead ads and generating some leads, this automation is for you. So in this automation, whenever a new lead will be generated in our Facebook lead ads campaign, automatically we are going to add the details of that newly generated lead in our Google Sheet. And also in this video, we will learn how you can add the details of the ad campaign or ad set which you are running, that from which of your ad campaign this new lead is generated, you can add those details into the Google Sheet with the same lead data as well. Now guys, how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Public Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Public Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Facebook lead ads to Google Sheets. And then just click on create. Now you can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to connect our Facebook lead ads account with Public Connect so that all the new leads which we are getting on our Facebook lead ad form, we can get the details of all of those new leads with the Facebook ad campaign details in our Public Connect workflow. And after that, using Public Connect, we are going to send all of those details to Google Sheet. So let's begin. Now here in trigger window, in choose app, here we have to search for Facebook lead ads. So select Facebook lead ads over here. And then in trigger event from the drop down, select new lead instant as the trigger event. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Facebook lead ad account with Public Connect. And to make this connection, click on this connect with Facebook lead ads button. And here guys, because we have already logged into a Facebook account in our browser, we can see that Public Connect has detected the same account and made the connection. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the page. So here in the drop down below, we can see a list of all the pages which we have created in our Facebook account. And from this drop down, we have to select the Facebook page on which we are running our lead ad campaign. So I will be selecting my Facebook page named as Pabli subscription billing. So on this page, I'm running a lead ad campaign. So let's search for the same page, Pabli subscription billing. Now, after selecting the page, the next thing it asks us is the lead generation form. So it is most likely possible that you might have created multiple lead generation form in the same page for the ad campaign. So in the drop down, you will see a list of all the lead generation form and you have to select the form that from which form responds, the lead from which lead ad generation form you want to receive inside Pabli Connect. So this is the form register or Pabli subscription billing live webinar. And in this form, guys, I want that whenever a new lead is generated using this lead generation form, the response or the details of that lead should be captured inside Public Connect. So we have selected it. Then we just have to click on save and send test request. Now, after clicking on save and send test request, here it is showing us waiting for webhook response. This means Public Connect is waiting to get some details, some response from the lead generation form. Now what we have to do, whenever a new lead will be created, a new response or a new lead will be generated on this lead ad form of ours, the response or the details of that newly generated lead will be captured inside Public Connect. So you just have to make sure that your lead ad campaign, your lead generation form is live and then you are running some active ads. So after that guys, whenever a new lead will be generated, you will get the response, the details of that new lead in our Public Connect workflow. Right now, while setting up this automation, if you don't get a proper lead right now, what you can do, you just have to go to your Facebook ad manager account. So this is my ad manager account and this is the particular ad which we are running. So in this ad, we are generating some leads and we have created this ad for this particular form, this lead generation form. Now after this, what we have to do, we just have to open this form, this lead generation form in preview mode. Now to do so, you just have to select your ad. This is the ad which we were running, just selected. And here you can see a preview option. Just click on this preview button. And then here you can see the same ad in the preview mode. Now after selecting the Facebook feed over here, just go to the share section 
and click on this share a link button. Copy this link and click on done. So in this way, the same ad which you have created right now on the ad campaign, you have just copied the link or the URL of that same ad. Now what you have to do, you just have to go to your browser, paste the link over here. Now after visiting this link, here you can see there's an option named as show ad. Just click on this show ad button. And then the same ad, the same ad which you have created over here will be shown to your Facebook profile. So we have reached to our Facebook feed. We will just scroll down. And yes, here you can see the same ad. This ad has been shared with you. So we have basically shared the same ad with one of our user or with our own profile. And in this ad, you can see this apply now button. When you click on this button, here you can see the lead generation form which we have created, which we have selected over here is opened in front of us. Now, when we click on next, here we have an option to enter the details of a dummy user. So in this way, you can actually generate a test lead, a dummy lead for the same lead ad campaign which you have created. And because we have connected our Facebook account with Pavli Connect, we will see the details of this newly generated lead or lead generation form response will be captured inside Pavli Connect. So let's do it. Here we have entered the details of a user. For example, we have a email address, a name, a dummy phone number and the city. Just click on next and click on submit. And that is it. Just now we have generated a test lead on this particular Facebook lead ad. And after this, what we will do, we will go to Pavli Connect. And yes, here in Pavli Connect, you can see that we have received the response. And in this response, you can see the details of the same lead. We have the same email address, same name, same dummy mobile number, and same city which we have just now entered in this lead generation form. So this means the connection between our Facebook account and Pavli Connect is working perfectly fine. And whenever a new lead will be generated using this Facebook lead ad form, the details of that lead will be captured inside Pavli Connect. After this, in this response, we can see the details of the user. And also guys, you can see that when we'll scroll to this response, we will get the details of the ad campaign as well. So here you can see the form ID, the ID of the lead generation form from which we have received the response. Then here you can see the ad name, the name of the ad as well. Then the next thing which you can see is the campaign ID and the name of the campaign as well. And also the name of the ad set. So in this way, all the details of your Facebook ad campaign can be received inside Public Connect whenever a new lead is generated with Facebook lead ad form. So guys, the step one of setting up this automation is completed. We have connected our Facebook lead ad account with Public Connect and received a response of a lead with the campaign details in our Public Connect workflow. Now let's move to step two. And in step two, what we have to do, we have to send all of these details to Google Sheet as a new row. Now to do this, just scroll down, come to our action window and here in choose app, search for Google Sheets. Select it. And then an action event from the drop down, select add new row as the action event. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Google Sheets account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, click on this sign in with Google button, select your Google Sheets account, scroll down and click on continue. And as we click on continue, we will see that our Google Sheets account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is to select the spreadsheet. And in the drop down below, you can see a list of all the spreadsheets which we have created in our Google Sheet account can be seen over here. So out of all of these spreadsheet, I have created a spreadsheet named as leads from Facebook. And in this spreadsheet, I want to add the details of the new lead, which we have generated from Facebook lead ad. And also I want to mention or enter the name of the campaign ad set and the form ID as well. So what we are going to do, we will just going to select this sheet leads from Facebook over here in this select spreadsheet section. Now, after selecting the spreadsheet, the next thing which we have to select is the sheet. So in this spreadsheet, as you can see right now, I have only one sheet named as sheet one. And in this same sheet, I want to add the data. So in whatever sheet you want to add the data, you have to select the sheet from this drop down. Now, because we have only one sheet right now, that's why it is showing us sheet one. Then you can see all the column of data, which we have created in our Google sheet. We can see all of these columns as fields over here in Pavli Connect. And one by one, we have to map their respective data in the field. Like for example, in the column of name, I wanted to enter the name of the new lead, which we have generated from Facebook lead ads. So what we are going to do from the responses of Facebook lead ads, we are going to map the response of the name. And guys, this process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field, 
And in the drop down below, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Facebook lead ads. And from these responses, select the response of the name of the lead and map it over here. After mapping the name, let's map the email address. So just click on this field. And from the drop down, select the response of the email address and map it. Follow the same process for mobile number as well. From the drop down, map the mobile number. Then after that, let's map the city. Just click here. And from the drop down, select the response of city. Then we have added another column of campaign name, ad set name, and form ID. So I also wanted to enter that in which of my Facebook lead ad campaign I have received this new lead, the name of the ad set, and also the name of or the form ID. So what we are going to do, just click here. And from Facebook lead ads, we have received these details as well. So from the drop down, let's select the response of the campaign name. This is the response of the campaign name. Just select it and map it. Then let's map the campaign ad set name as well. So from the drop down, we have this response of name of the ad set, map it. And at last, what we have to do, we just have to enter the form ID. So just click here. And from the drop down, select the response of form ID and map it. And after mapping all of these details, just click on save and send test request. Now, when we click on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the data which we have mapped in these fields, basically the details of a new lead which we have generated from Facebook lead ads with the campaign details is now added as a new row in Google Sheet. So let's check it. We will go to our Google Sheet. And yes, guys, here you can see that the same details are now added. So here you can see the same name of the user, same name of the new lead, which we have entered while generating this new lead in the preview mode. Then after that, you can see the same email address, same mobile number, city, same name of the campaign, same name for the ad set as well, and the form ID. So here guys, you can see that we have successfully created this automation workflow using which what we can do, which can actually set up an automation between Facebook lead ads and Google Sheet in real time. In which whenever a new lead will be generated in your Facebook lead ads ad campaign, automatically the details of that new lead with the details of the campaign ad set and ad will be added as a new row in our Google Sheet. So not just these applications guys, you can connect plenty of other applications using Public Connect. And guys, one more important thing, Public Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Public Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.